to get started. In three, two, one, go. Hi everyone, it's a new episode here and uh, I'm here with uh, a person uh, named Steve. Yeah, and Steve is my former student, so you're here as a guest today in the Convux building. You used to be my student up until very recently, um, but uh, now you work as a teacher and you have also been a teacher in your previous uh, home country. Yes. But let's start with your name, uh, please. Yes, my name is Steve. I'm 37 years old. I came to Sweden around four and a half years ago. And I learned Swedish. Jag kan svenska. But we're going to do this interview in English. Um, what would you like to know? Uh, you have friends and family uh, in, in Malta and other places. So to do this in English, I think we, we will reach out to a broader audience, which is a good thing. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. I come from Malta. Mm. Uh, for those who don't know, Malta is a very small country in Europe. Uh, it's located right underneath Sicily mm. um, in Italy. And we have two national languages. Um, actually, at the moment, there is a little bit of a political conflict going on about mm. it. But um, our national language is Maltese. Mm. Uh, but as an official language, we also have English. Mm. So um, you are considered a native speaker of English. So oh, yes, yes. You, you've been a guest also in some of my classes, uh, like yes. a co-teacher sometimes. So. Uh, uh, but the Maltese language as such is uh, kind of related to Arabic. Uh, it sounds a little bit Arabic sometimes when you hear people speaking um, uh, Maltese. Yes, um, Maltese is a, is a very particular language. It's a Semitic language, uh, dates back to the Phoenician times. Mm. Uh, even though uh, it didn't come directly from the Phoenicians, um, it came from, in fact, Sicily, because it comes from the Arabo-Siculo uh, language. Um, back in the early 1300s up till the 1400s and Mm. onwards uh, many people migrated from Sicily to Malta and uh, they use this uh, arabo siculo dialect which then of course carried on being developed by uh, the conquests of the knights of St John uh, which had 13 uh, which had um, I, I'm not sure if it was eight I believe eight mm. uh, different languages and then of course the French um, came to Malta for a few years and left a bit of an impact uh, but that impact was of course also within the Knights and then we had mm. 200 years of English colonization which led to English being predominantly uh, an official language uh, in the early 1900s there was a bit of a dispute between languages because mm. um, our official language was English because of our English colony but um, we, as descendants of Italians, did feel like there was this Italianness in us. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a lot of conflict there. Mm -hmm. um, so one can say that up till the last 40 years, Italian was also an unofficial language. Mm -hmm. And most Maltese people speak Italian fluently. No. You did receive a phone call just before we started mm -hmm. recording. Yes. So I heard you speak in Maltese. <coughs> Otherwise, I hear you speak in Swedish and English. Maybe. Yes, yes. And when you visit my classes, sometimes you, you give this background, talk about the history of your country and um, the different languages and things like that. So, uh, And you used to work as a teacher uh, back home in Malta, right? Yes, yes. Um, I was a special teacher. Um, basically, I worked uh, in the subjects of biology and mm. religion mm. Uh, and science. Um, I worked with students who had most, uh, I wouldn't say special needs, but students who required uh, more. Mm. Mm. Um, I was very lucky and I'm no longer employed there, so it's not brown nosing. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but I, had, I worked in the best school in Malta. Mm. I can like a prestigious school, so to speak. Or yes, no. yes, it no. was. It was really well, uh, well led. My colleagues were and still are amazing, mm. and uh, I still have contact with mm. them sometimes. But can we just mention the fact that love brought you to Sweden? Y yes. You came here 
uh, flying on the wings of love, <coughs> so to yes, speak. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, sing I'm not single. <laughs> no, no. Um, and and uh, yes. the lady in your life used to be my student many yes, years ago, so there's a connection even uh, yes, with your partner. So. You're an old fellow. <laughs> no, I've been around. So. Yes. Over the years, uh, so many people have come my way. Uh, I've worked with teenagers and uh, grown-ups, mm -hmm. and uh, she was here at the Adult Education Convux yes. in Clippan, so yes. She was quite no. young, actually, no, when, she, no, when no. she went there. But I, I still remember her. I mean, she was uh, also very good at English, so I guess yes. uh, that's the language you, you used when you connected online, you uh, met yes, online. Yes, oh. yes, we did. And then uh, she came to Malta, and uh, things started progressing. But the thing is, uh, the language that we speak at home is, in fact, English, um, even though she is Swedish and born and raised in Clippons, she is, um, we, we tend to speak more English, and mm. not because of me, because I ask her to speak Swedish, mm, no. but she... Because I do remember uh, she was very skilled <coughs> when, it, uh, when it came to uh, using English, so... Yes. Yeah, online, that's how many people get to know one another today, of course, yes. and then they meet in real life. You came to Sweden because well, of this. So. Well, the thing is, I have met a lot of people face to face, mm. of course. Mm. And but uh, me and my sambo, uh, we had a special connection. Like we were very good friends, and mm. we were friends for a long time before me, we met. Mm. And it was a beautiful thing, to be honest. And uh, like it, it, this is like something I would suggest if you're ever talking about love or like being friends before makes such a huge difference mm. like and you know that you work well together oh yes yes no. <coughs> sure. uh, but uh, you used to be a teacher but you're also teaching now here in sweden uh, yes. what's your current uh, job you go to hesleholm on a daily basis yes i am uh, the modest molerare i engelska in mm. hesleholms commune mm. um, lovely job lovely colleagues even though they are my current colleagues but oh. I am really happy and I believe that they are very happy with me as well mm. and I have amazing students always had amazing students mm. never had a complaint but if it's uh, more or small uh, it means that they come from English speaking countries ma maybe African countries where they, they speak do, English they come from, from like when it, when we're talking about more than small mm. um, with uh, a subject like English uh, mm. as well as for example Arabic it's particular because there is not one country that speaks English. Mm. There are many, mm -hmm. and so I have people. I have students that come from Australia all the way to Canada. So mm. I have from all around the globe. Mm. And that's people. what comes to mind first, of course, England, uh, America, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, many different yes. nationalities or backgrounds in your yes. classes. Yes, so, yeah. yes. Uh, African nations and mm. Southeastern Asians and uh, like mm. everywhere from all continents. Yeah. And wow. It's beautiful. I know you, you really feel good about this job. You're in a good place now. So oh, speak. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm in a good place. Yeah. I, uh, and Steve is the kind of person that I think all students, they, they want to, yeah, I mean, they listen to you and they <laughs> you sort of embrace everyone. Well, they very better listen to me. <laughs> no, no, they better listen to you. But it's no, but your personality is the kind of one that people they they, you know, they want to come to you even if they have problems i'm sure they they would uh, come to you and open up their hearts and well I, it's it's my philosophy the, um when i think of students i mm. always think of myself uh, in their position um mm. every everyone is different and everyone goes through their own life journey everyone mm. has their own baggage no matter how young or no matter how old or no matter how much you're smiling or how loud or how quiet you are mm. everyone has their own life story everyone is their own mm. main character mm. this is for the students everyone else is an npc mm. you are the main character mm. and i like to see i like to think of every person as an individual and mm. i like to know the individual and mm. let them know that you're not alone and i'm there for you mm. no matter mm. what mm. you know and this uh, this counts for all my i still have a good relationship with my first students back mm. long ago who are now grown adults oh. and, and even when you were a student here i know you always cared for others and you you, you became their friends if they wanted to become uh, your friend and you were 
willing to talk to them and listen and uh, you're a good communicator. I, mean, I, yeah. I try yeah. my best. Yeah. Let's put it like that. So I take it you uh, you felt really good about Convux. You you studied here yes. for quite some time and you uh, enjoyed your studies here. I hope. Yes, uh, my journey at Convux was two and a, two years and four months. I started mm. in November two thousand twenty. One, I think. Could be, could be. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw a man in the corridor and I was speculating, where is he from? What country? Because <laughs> I always want to nail down the country. But Malta was not on my map at yes. the moment. <laughs> at that time. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Okay. If, you had a, if the world was a dartboard, hitting Malta would be very difficult. Mm, no, <laughs> it's no. a very small island. Mm, mm. Um, I, yeah, I mean, uh, my journey in Convux was brilliant. I... Mm, I mm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I I have I, I I believe in lifelong education, and I believe that everyone should keep themselves mm. active, mm. both physically and mentally. Unfortunately, the physically the physical part, mm. I don't really really listen to my own advice, oh. but um, I believe that everyone should try to better themselves in some way mm. or another, mm. and. I have I have basically been in education for quite a while. Mm. We can and prove I'm a point here that yeah. um, you can also keep in, in contact after you finished. I mean, with the student or with teachers. You know, uh, like uh, we we will never lose contact. I no, think. Of course. Uh, we've added each other on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, when you can no longer use uh, the school platform, uh, we can keep in contact. Yes. So please remember, Convux is for a limited period of time. But you can make friends for life, uh, and, and uh, when you apply for a job, it's good to have contacts in different places. So mm -hmm. uh, lots of good things can come out of uh, establishing contact with many good people. So. Yes, um, you mentioned job, but I, f I believe that having a job is a very important thing. But mm -hmm. not just a job, because, and this is to my friends here who are not from Sweden, mm. we tend to kind of feel alone. And when I joined Convox, I <coughs> couldn't speak a single word in Swedish except for tak och ursäkta, because I would bump into a lot of people by mistake. Um, <laughs> but um, it, was, it, uh, it was a very lonely life. And when I was in Malta, I was more of a social butterfly than I was here. Mm. And when I came to Convox, I realized that it wasn't just me who's feeling alone. There were a mm. lot of people who were feeling this kind of like, I know me, like a sense of non-belonging. Mm. <coughs> Pardon my French, because I know me is a French word. Mm. And basically what I, what I realized is that everyone has a voice. Everyone wants to say their thing. And honestly, love, just love each other, love everyone, love, mm. like do anything you can do to invite people yeah. into your heart, not into your homes, no. not into no. your lives. But, but everything comes heart. down to love. Uh, you love what you do, you teach, mm -hmm. uh, you love uh, your friends, your family. So oh, yeah. uh, love is probably the reason why we exist. Oh, yes. We are uh, products of love. <laughs> oh, yes. So that's the essence of, of life. There's one thing also I want to touch upon before we finish, um, because uh, you had a career in music in Malta. Yes. <laughs> I, I know uh, Steve wants to sort of to tone it down, but, uh, but you, ha you have a lifelong passion for music. And you did have uh, an impressive career in, in Malta. Can you say, uh, I know you're not here to talk about that, but ju just a few words, please. Well, um, I was dragged into music when mm. I was 19 years old. Basically, I started following this guy, Jack Black, and mm. we used to go out, we used to have fun, drink a bit, you know, and get tipsy, and mm. I used to like singing. And mm. So you're a singer primarily, uh, and uh, yes. so maybe also a primarily songwriter, a singer. composer, well, but mainly singer. Yes, yes. But and this guy has a great voice. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to post the video I've got from you because then you will be uh, people <laughs> no, will please. follow you on, on the streets here in Clipa yeah, but, no, uh, no, but, no, but you're won't. extremely talented no, such a great uh, singer um, and you, you performed in church also here in Clipa yes yes uh, not that long ago so yes yeah. um, I was I was quite I was quite uh, blessed to actually be able to join the choir in, in St. Peter's Shirkan Christmas songs or something yes uh, I I also like um, 
performed in San Andreas Circa, mm-hmm. and you know, we. I gave a bit of what I could because mm-hmm. um, that's all I could do is mm-hmm. give as much as you can and expect nothing in return. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. that's the life lesson here. Mm-hmm. Give. You mm-hmm. don't have to expect anything. Mm-hmm. Just give. Oh. And yeah, I uh, yeah, mm. I like to sing. Oh. <laughs> so I just want to mention it because it's such an important, integral part of your life, and you're so good at it. And Thank I you. remember I wanted to share a link with you me, with me singing, but then I regretted it when I heard you sing. I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, oh my! No, y- Mats, you are amazing as well. Okay, and okay, you okay. have yeah. a you have a passion for music. Yeah, which we both do, of course. Yeah. Yes, mm. Um, mm. I don't believe that music oh. is a competition. Oh. In fact, I I abhor. The mm. idea of competing when oh. it comes to music. But this guy is a pro. And you have, like we say, uh, a voice with a capital V or like a singer-singer. A very yes. strong, uh, beautiful <laughs> voice. So. Thank you. Uh, I would like to hu- hug you, but but the, the, the microphone is in the way. So we I can just hug want afterwards. To, no, I just want to express my gratitude. And this is what can happen at Convux. Um, you have a student, uh, you have colleagues, uh, and sometimes you have a friend for life. Because Steve has a very strong personality and uh, we'll make sure to keep in contact because you're no longer a student you're a former student yes but you're always welcome to come back and uh, be a featured guest in my classes or things like that and thank you for having me Uh, any final words before we uh, press the stop button on the computer yes be nice to yourselves Mm. be nice to each other and most importantly when the sun isn't out it has to be in there Mm. You heard it from Steve, and um, I agree wholeheartedly. So, thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed this conversation between me and Steve. Okay. Have a great day. Yep. Take care. Bye bye.